once I soared high on wings of gold, silhouetted by the sun, only to be brought back to earth by the cravings of the flesh and by the ache of death. There's no relief, no freedom in this hiding within material form. The stars reel. Even after the universe is dissolved, when at last the forms of physical nature reappear, I tender my application. Let me in again. Let me try again. Let me suffer again. All the while, Krishna gazes with infinite compassion. From behind the eyes that look through these eyes, from beyond the darkness of my sight, you'll give me freedom so that I can love you. But I recoil in fright. Why am I not like you? I demand to know. But you are that also. Comes the sublime reply. As long as you serve. Service, we can share the consciousness of transcendental love equally. Or even you may surpass me, as many of my dear friends have done. But why must I serve? That's our eternal nature. Look, I am serving you. How else could you fulfill your desires in this body? I'm speechless and confused. I need help. Opens like a shaft of light. The spiritual master offers his hand. Come, you'll soon understand. Krishna has sent me to help you. You're very fortunate. This is the razor's edge. Maya beckons with a saucy glance. But you haven't solved this puzzle yet. You are just getting good. You can't leave now. Now I see the reason for my identity. I am me to give up the false importance of being just me. For I am small and lost without Krishna, roping endlessly within the maze of this awesome cosmic structure. If I choose correctly. Serving the Lord is being strength.